Good evening everybody, this is Samantha Jane, otherwise known as The Psychic Coach. If you are watching this live, I'm just going to give you a moment to pop on and join me. Today is Monday the 11th of May 2020. I had to have a think then what month we were even in. Um, but if you are there, then drop me a comment and let me know that you are watching and you are watching this live. If you are watching this on YouTube, then don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell so you can be notified when I next release a video. Hi Jean, hi Debbie, and if you haven't already popped over to YouTube, you will find extra videos there that I don't share on Facebook, I don't record onto Facebook, so pop over and take a look. Hello Colleen, hello Camilla, hello Jenny, lovely to see so many lovely people tuning in for my live week ahead. Hi Sophie. So there's just one key thing this week on a planetary level to really be talking about. And it actually kicks in today. Hi, Kirsten. And um, that is that Saturn is going retrograde. So just looking at my notes, you know, Saturn is going retrograde and it goes, it goes on today. Um, it combines with Altair, which is the brightest star in the galaxy. And so it, it can bring in quite a bit of sorrow and disappointment. Thank you, Kirsten. I'm back to me. <laughs> Hi Chris. Um, but yeah, it can bring in um, some disappointments. I've had disappointments in people today myself. I've confessed that one um, online and in business. Um, but also it can be referencing to hospital treatments, people's uh, despair, disappointment about their inability to work, feeling socially isolated. Hi Sue. Um, and depression, we have to watch for depression as well. So I think it's very apt that this planetary influence would come in um, because, you know, this is going to last through to September the 29th and I actually think it's going to take us till September to fully get over the season that we were, are in, as I call it, so my videos don't get chopped. Um, but yeah, the other thing is as well, is that Saturn is known as the Lord of Karma. So what happens from today is that because it's in retrograde, we can get a what we call a double dose of karma. So therefore, um, you know, karma can hit us. And past, present and future from today, hi Sam, can blend, they can merge. And between now and September the 29th, I believe it is, we can actually be on the receiving end or witnessing karmic energy playing out. So I've been joking with my clients and asking them if they've been behaving. Because uh, if not, they might get to feel it. Um, but yeah, it is one of those. And so predestined things may occur. Um, and as you know, I'm a parallel life. So it's a very thin veil between past, present and future at the moment. So just be mindful of that. You may have people popping in from the past. And there may be gifts or there may be lessons. It's one of those things, okay? So be aware of that. It's down to how responsible you have been in your life in the past. So if you keep that in mind, okay? So don't get all het up about it, but just be aware that from now until the 29th of September, many people will walk through lessons which are serving karmic person, per person? Purpose, karmic lessons. Does that make sense to people? Have I explained that enough? Drop me a little comment and let me know, all right? We also have to watch at the moment with this energy for feeling limited, restricted, for anxiety and fear creeping in, yeah? And again, it all connects to our responsibilities, what we feel responsible for, okay? And it also is to do with your careers, what you are doing um, or what you want to do. Things like that can come into play as well. 
but it also is what's really highlighted during this time is your responsibilities. And that is obviously to dependents as well. So just bear in mind that any little sort of issues and things in this sector are going to pop up or can possibly at least pop up, as I say, between now and the 29th of September. And that's why I wanted to mention this and dominate the planetary aspect with this today, because it kicks in today, hi, Kath. Um, so Jean, is, is, it makes sense to Jean, it makes sense to Liam, who's watching here today. So yeah, there are lessons to be learned and very, very valuable ones. So don't discredit the experiences that you're in. I always say to people, you know, surrender to the experience, go through the experience, choose to enjoy it rather than carry it as baggage, a burden and a trauma, take the learning, take the lesson, move on. That's how we control this, all right? By how much we allow it to absorb and hold on to. Um, some people are commenting about having mood swings on a bit on another level. It is possible, especially today, after the announcements here in the UK at least, um, about uh, lockdown, the road, what do they call it, the roadmap out of lockdown. Um, I know that energies are high, fears are very high, um, anxieties are high, and if you are empathic, then you are going to be sensitive to that at the moment. So just watch yourself over the next couple of days as well. Because as I said, don't give in to fears though. You know, we call it your shadow self. We all have one. And again, I'm gonna, gonna reiterate, which I've been saying from day one in this situation we are in. It is so about choosing about whether you are going to live through fear or whether you are going to live through love. Who's watched the Matrix film or documentary as I call it? Yeah, let me know if you have. Um, but it really, really is very much about that. Um, yeah, uh, someone's commented about feeling very, very nauseous today. Again, what that can be is that you are picking up on everybody else's anxieties. Um, hi, Perwin, 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 per, Perwin, I can't even say it. Um, we just call you Per. <laughs> but you can really be picking up on other people's, on society's anxieties. Um, if, like me, you made a mistake this morning, got rattled by so much negativity on Facebook, then walked into a supermarket, it's like, oh dear, I've had to go back to bed and reboot, which is my recommendation, all right? Um, but it really is about, and you see, again, with all of that, I don't want to bang on about that, but it's about responsibility, isn't it? And we're in a karmic chapter now. So if you are not being responsible, because Saturn and all the rest of it is about illness and depression and everything, then yeah, absolutely, that's where it's going to hit you. And it's going to hit you hard. So if you are moaning and groaning and all the rest of it, or breaking the rules, then don't come to me crying over the next month, because quite frankly, you've invited it in. Get real, get responsible, and get on with it, all right? Hi, David. Um, so yeah, is that resonating with any of you? Maybe you're seeing that yourselves as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the tarot. So let me just have a look at my message cards and see what we get with them as well. But I'm going to move on to the tarot. So, as I say, um, if you're watching this, then drop me a comment. Don't forget if you're posting anywhere to use the, the hashtag the psychic coach so I can find you and thank you. Um, but yeah, interesting times, don't you think? Interesting times. And I'm constantly pulling this for people today forgiveness. So know that what is going on today, uh, today and over the, 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 this coming season is about forgiveness. Now, it's all very well forgiving other people. I'd like to think my audience understands the true meaning of forgiveness. Hi, Lulu. Um, but what is really, really key at this time is to forgive yourself. All right. Forgive yourself. Come on. If you're torturing yourself, then who needs enemies, eh? So just, hi, Kaz, lovely lady. Hi, Sarah. But yeah, just remember that forgiveness is a huge part of your own healing journey. So maybe it is time where this past, present and future come together for you to start to forgive yourself for the part you have played 
in the path that you have worked. All right, so I hope you understand what I'm trying to say by that. I try not to bang on and on and on. But right then, let's see what the tarot will give us as guidance for how to ride the waves of the energies this week. As always, I need to explain to those watching, this is a general tarot reading. And there is this need to um, just take from it what resonates with you. Um, for some of you watching it may do, for some of you watching it may not at this point, but you're always welcome to come back across the week because I leave it here on the page for you to come to see um, and get that guidance perhaps that you need later in the week. So yeah, this is a general reading for the week ahead beginning the 11th of May 2020. Let's have a look what spirit will give us. And readings are, as always, for entertainment purposes only. Now, the real focus this week I'm being shown is on the rebuild. I actually feel that's over the next three weeks. Whether it's business or your personal lives, the focus will be on the rebuild of your life or an aspect or aspects up to three aspects of your life that you need to sort out, um, adjust, yeah, and get going on, even if it's not so obvious in the physical world, okay? Now, interestingly, I have the destiny card. So know this week that things are going to be as they need to be. And I've already had to sit myself down today and have a word with myself because I've, I need to surrender this week. I'm spinning too many plates um, because of personal stuff. But there is a need to surrender and let life flow in the way that it needs to flow this week and know that you are moving forwards, all right? As it is destined, as it is written, and as it needs to be, all right? So be aware of that. Don't be fighting it, all right? Don't create resistance in your creative zone. Let it come to you. Let life come to you. Let life take you where you need to be. Does that make sense? Now, again, um, I've got my marriage and my divorce card here. So for many people watching this, it will literally be choices this week. Even if they don't act on them, as I keep saying, there will be choices made. There will be thought given, especially over the next five days, to whether they wish to remain in the relationships that they are in, all right? Does that make sense to you? You might not want to admit that. Um, <laughs> I'm doing a lot of readings, all right? A lot of readings. There are a lot of people in struggle on a relationship level. And, you know, it's something else, I, or maybe I'm going to go a bit too deep on the old spiritual spectrum with this, but you have to understand often... You know, we, we pull in the relationships we're in and some come heart and soul and they are, you know, a twin flame. Some come from the mind and through a need and some are pulled in through karmic and destiny playouts. And because of the season we are walking into from today, you know, be mindful that if your relationship has served its purpose, has served its karmic playout, then your relationship may need to end for you to evolve spiritually. Does that make sense or am I taking this a bit too far? All right, <laughs> I'm not in the academy now, Sam. But there is this need to understand that what I am seeing is victory. So no matter how difficult your journey feels, at the moment, you need to focus on the journey and on the victory. Now, if you have a friend that needs to hear that, tag them in this video right now and tell them to watch the replay because things are playing out. I've got my destiny, my commitment card and my victory card, but it can be a difficult journey to get there, you know? But sometimes we do say it has to be worth the journey. You, you, do you know what I mean? Especially soulmate links. It, you know, when people come to me for readings and they want to know about their next love and they say to me, I want, I want a soulmate, I joke and say, no, you don't. Because soulmate connections are hard and that's what's misunderstood. Now, when it comes to work and business aspects, there is an opportunity to get kind of re-energized or a need to get re-energized, refocused. 
and sort your emotions out next to next to in connection to the work the roles that you are in all right if you're studying you need to get back into it and you need to get back in love with it okay because there is this need for you to be a lot more focused moving forwards because everything now can you feel it speeding even in my reading work, I'm like, yabba, 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 because there's just so much energy coming in. And there is this need to start the process in your work, your um, business, if you're in business, or even your studies, as I say, to get you on a smoother path coming out of this and moving forwards. I hope you can understand that. I hope that resonates with you. Let me know, drop me a comment. Now, when it comes to personal uh, relationships, and when I read on relationships and love, it can be your intimate one, it can be siblings, um, other family members, work colleagues, whatever. Do you know what? Many of you need to take a break and you need to take, you need some time out. And don't be afraid to ask or demand or whatever that time out. Because one of the things that's really coming up key in my group coaching work at the moment is the recognition through this that we're in that boundaries have been a problem and that stepping forward, there's a need to have much, much stronger boundaries. And that includes myself, all right? So know that it is okay to put yourself first sometimes. Know it is okay to need a break because we need everything well in your world for you to be a better friend, partner, lover, daughter, mother, <laughs> you name it. All those relations, all those connections. If you need to rest, you need to rest and give yourself permission for that, all right? So we do need to watch this week when it comes to um, the spiritual and personal growth sector. Um, some of you, like myself, may be experiencing quite bizarre dreams or disturbed night's sleep, things like that. Um, it can be anxiety playing out in the mind, be aware of that. Um, um, but there is also anxiety over making decisions at the moment and whether you have made the right decisions for many people watching this. So just know that if you are staying true to yourself, true to your own vision, keep pulling back, pull back, pull back, and know that you are making the right decisions. You may need to make very balanced decisions, so make sure that your heart and your head are in balance. If you are a trained to self-heal, then I would say to you, focus on the crown, focus on the heart, because there's a need to open the heart up, yes, but there is also the need to be in balance. Your head and heart need to flow together in this one, all right? It's one of those weeks. Everything is about bringing in balance. Some people have been living far too much through the head space. Some people living too much through the heart. We need to get this right. So I hope that you are able to this week. But yeah, big changes can be revealed this week to you, whether it's on an inner level or it comes out in your outer experiences. But know that that change is there. I see it as a good change. I, as I said last week, I think it was, I can feel everything is speeding up and speeding up. So when these things are revealed, when changes are revealed, remember, this is destiny at play. Let life unfold. Stop squeezing it like the old soap trick thingy. And ser seriously, just surrender. Let go of the need to be in the know 24 seven about what is happening. Um, stop mistaking, controlling someone for loving someone. It's not let people be who they need to be at the moment and you get on with being yourself. So that is this week's week ahead. I hope it has helped you. I'm going to pop over now, if you're watching this live, I'm going to pop over to my private Facebook group, um, which is the Spiritual Growth Club, and I will do more private readings and give further advice there. So have a powerful, powerful week. If you need to sleep this week, sleep. Don't keep pushing. 
don't keep pushing yourself. We're supposed to have got rid of all of that. Surrender, enjoy the experience. Stop watching the dickheads on Facebook who now think they're politicians and health ministers and GPs suddenly and, oh my God, and tax specialists. You know, there's a lot of living room idiocy at the moment because people are bored shitless. And you know what they say? A little bit of information can be dangerous, can't it, lovelies? So trust yourself. Have an amazing one. Bye-bye.